what's going on? We have a really cool video, really special video for you guys today. So I don't know if you remember, you can recognize the space that I'm in right here, but this is actually the shop or barn or shop or whatever you want to call it that I actually built my F100 chassis in. Um, this was my good friend Dusty, Corey, and Tyson. Uh, they're really cool guys. They let me actually build my chassis in their shop at their house. And uh, this is actually the, where, where a lot of stuff happened. And there was a truck, which is in the same spot as this 50 Chevy here, um, that was built right next to my chassis. It was my buddy, buddy Dusty's 52 Chevy pickup that was right here built next to mine. It had an LS1 swapped. It was full chassis, full frame off deal, Mustang 2 in the front, 88 Explorer rear end, really cool stuff. Um, but he has been driving the absolute crud out of that thing. It's his daily driver. Um, he has coilovers in the front of it, but there was just a cheap setup. And they actually, his previous coilovers actually ended up breaking in two pieces, which we'll show you in a second here. Um, so we actually are going to be doing an Alden American install on this thing. Um, it's definitely well needed and well deserved for this project. And uh, we're going to show this vehicle off because I've wanted to make a video with his truck. A lot of you guys have seen it, but we haven't really gone in depth with this thing. So I'm going to show you everything about it. We're going to go drive it, beat the crud out of it. Kind of a lot of cool stuff for you guys in this video. So stay tuned. We're going to go check out the truck. Get these coilovers installed. the trucks behind me Dusty just got the rest of the parts off of it um, the old stuff we had a clearance a little bit for the control arm to get this uh, the coiler to fit because it's a helix front suspension kit which we have had nothing but bad issues with which we were replacing with the much better Alton stuff but we're gonna go over some of the parts that we got right now kind of tell you what we got going and why we're using what and uh, you can probably use that for your vehicle as well this is the new stuff this is the uh, Alden American this is the Mustang 2 model number 753 this is their Mustang 2 kit you can use this on pretty much any Mustang 2 style application um, and it is a I believe double adjustable coilover setup so they have uh, a stamping rod up here as well on the top um, as well as adjusting the coilover itself a um, lot thicker body so this is the old setup so you said you had this thing literally sheer in half so as you can see this is in two pieces so Explain what happened with this thing. So, ride height for these was about there, and then it compressed and bottomed out. And since it's cheap China stuff, this bolt that came out of the uh, shock before sheared off completely. So I was trying to weld a new one in there temporarily to drive the truck when I got in contact with Craig and Garrett at Old American. Yeah, that's just that's yeah, that's crazy. And they did. Did you call Helix and spec this out for your? Your truck? Yes, and I called Helix the first time for another issue I had on a spindle that broke and the bearing completely exploded and they didn't cover any of that either. So, oh, so you have uh, two red flags. So, yeah. Yep. And I mean, this is the difference. You can just visually see it. So, this is a junk Helix kit that's all made in China stuff. And just look at the difference. Look at the spring. Look at the shock body. Just look at how much beefier everything is uh, right here. And, you know, like always, this is all made in USA kind of stuff. So this is a lot nicer stuff. This is definitely going to be one heck of an upgrade. Um, and I think you're definitely ready to pitch this thing in some corners Sweet. with it. And this thing's all done. So awesome. We're going to go ahead and get these things mocked up, bolt it in. They should bolt right in for the most part. So yep. go and slam them in.
Dude, that looks yeah. sick. Look at the race on that. so cool. Yeah, that's a stance. Definitely looks good. Sick. <laughs>
it looks so heavenly. Oh, the smell. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this guy. I say that was pretty good. That looked pretty good. Heck yeah, dude. So, a little bit better or what? Way better. Yeah, definitely. I think so too. Night and day difference. Yeah, it definitely pitches itself into corners a lot better. Definitely. Yeah, Beano's saying, I was smelling the bricks a little bit. I was like, oh, he's getting it. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. Nothing seems to be holding up in there. You can, you want know, it's so freaking low, I can't even see the coilovers anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Doing their job. We're gonna have to turn them up just a little bit. You can see the controllers are starting to go up. We're starting to settle in, so we're gonna have to crank those up a little bit more, but not bad for just bolting them in. So it's a little bit windy, but tell us about the setup a little bit, because I know a lot of people haven't actually seen this truck and don't know much about it, so. Yeah, so it started with a uh, straight six and a uh, three speed, and then we ended up putting finding a 4.8 LS with the MSD ignition system and Phytech on it with mm -hmm. a 700R4 overdrive trans. And then we got an 8.8 .8 rear end in it. And I had to get a drive shaft made, four inch aluminum drive shaft. And it has the Mustang two coil over A-arm suspension in the front. And then it's still a leaf sprung in the rear until I can get four link in it. Nice. So other than that, it's stock 4.8. Haven't done anything to the 4.8 besides the Phytech. It's pretty simple, keep it simple. Yep. Drive the crud out of it, beat the crud out of it. All that good stuff. Heck yeah. They also the interior on this thing is flawless. I mean it's total driver. And then you said the seat was a Ranger seat? That was an El Camino, like 67 El Camino seat, I believe it was. Oh okay. Yeah, so we got that and I had to make like a bracket to hold it all and everything, the framework underneath. But it works and it fits like beautifully. All the way across. Perfect. So we have the sound box underneath the seat. Oh yeah, I remember you saying that you got a whole little, yeah. you got a whole little sound system in this thing. This is uh, cause you gotta keep in mind this is your first vehicle. This is your daily driver for how many years? A couple yeah, of years? For two and a half years. Yeah, and all the way through high school. Yeah. Yep. So, heck yeah, this thing looks freaking awesome. And then yeah, this is the 15 by 10 Bassett with a 295 on it, and this actually you said fits in the front. 295 fit on the front, and then if I get a 12 inch wheel with a different offset, I'm gonna put 335s on the rear. Oh my goodness. So that meat will fit just like that in the front. Oh, this thing's gonna be a track monster. And it's still a long bed, gotta point still that out. Bed. This thing pitches into the corners that well and it's a long bed, that is insane. So definitely a, a rad rig. Sorry about the wind, the wind is getting crazy right now. We go to this side, it's a little bit more calm, but yeah, the wind, sorry about the wind noise, but dang, this thing is something, a force to be reckoned with. And he built this in high school next to my chassis. Absolutely insane. All right, guys, so we just got everything finally done, dialed in. Got a little bit more fine tuning, got to stiffen up the front end a little bit. Dusty's gonna do that in the upcoming weeks and kind of test it out. He's got a nice little test track around his house. I'm pretty jealous about that. Um, but anyways, massive shout out to Garrett and Alden American for sending us a good set of coilovers and getting this thing set up right. Uh, I'll have the link down below. If you want to check out a Mustang 2 style suspension for your vehicle, I'll have all the links down below, as well as the Crown Vic setup that we made for my Crown Vic suspension. Uh, we made a full kit for that. So all you Crown Vic F100 guys, there is a bolt-in kit for your truck. I'll have that linked as well. We took that to SEMA last year, if you guys remember those videos. But anyways, there's a bunch of different things from A-bodies to C10s, all sorts of stuff, including a 52 pickup. So a lot of cool stuff. So go down to my description, go down to the website, check it out, get, get yourself some cool all American coilers for your ride. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Oh hell yeah brother. Yeah. Dad wheels. Dad wheels. So many dad wheels. Oh you got big dad wheels. Oh yeah. Stop, get away.